Our Von Wong Europe tour brought us to Belgium. At the time, SX had only released a single piece, Black Video, that went viral over the internet. Since they're preparing to launch their first album, the album artwork is going to be extremely important since it would be their introduction into the world. The goal was to produce something that looked unique, but not unbelievable, so we spent a bunch of time experimenting with the water, as well as the trio of Link Star flashes that was provided to us by Levin Picks. We uh, kind of gained momentum with our with one song, Black Video. We put it on the internet and it went really natural. People picked it up and, and, and it started spreading and, and, and it was everywhere all of a sudden. <laughs> Stephanie represents the voice of our band. It's a... Uh, she until now also represents the face of our band. So she's uh, extremely important for us. <laughs> How cool is it that nowadays bands are able to record their own stuff in a very like low budget way and, and making their own videos and, and putting them on the internet and then spreading them wherever they want. It's pure luxury. If you want to be creative, if you want to um, cross your, not cross your borders, but push your borders, you have to feel free. We were really fast in, in realizing like, okay, let's just do what we've always done just make music. And the final touch was to have a powerful backlight to simulate the sun. This allowed us to create a gorgeous shot to make it seem that the entire band was emerging from a glorious sunrise, implying perhaps the birth and beginning of SX. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this week's video. We went for a slightly different approach this time and that was to combine a behind the scenes video along with a documentary in the style of the band while featuring one of their pieces. Um, we're sorry it's taken so long for us to come up with these behind the scenes videos from the Von Wang Des Europe tour, but we're, we had a couple glitches, but they're gonna come out quite soon. And by the end of this year, we're expecting the DVDs to come out. So stay tuned and sorry once again. For this photo shoot, we had a bunch of Linkstar Studio strobes as well as Pixel Pond triggers, uh, thanks to Love & Pix, so great thank you to them for providing us with those for our tour. And uh, I was just going to go over a little bit of the lighting setup and the challenges of shooting in a swimming pool. So, for this shot, we knew that we wanted to create something that was going to be um, quite unique, um, that would involve having a sunrise behind our subjects. So, we placed our subjects um, in the middle of the swimming pool and came up with a challenge of um, having our lights kind of stuck on the sides of the swimming pool since we didn't have any additional assistance available to us to um, bring the lights any closer or farther. So um, that was a little bit challenging right there. Additionally, we really, really wanted to have the reflections of the water um, coming up onto the skin of the models. So if you pay attention to the close details, you'll see that we have these caustics appearing on the skin of our models. And that was a challenge to make because we had to angle the flashes just right to make sure those reflections came out. Finally, getting the backlight just right in the back um, while really um, getting the position of our models all lined up perfectly. Took a little bit of running back and forth once again because we didn't have any assistance. And um, the last thing I want to talk about was the 70-200 to lens that I used. And the reason we used this 70-200 to 
was because we really wanted to compress the perspective, um, get our models quite close together, um, but on a different plane of existence to really bring out Stephanie, who was the lead singer of the band. So, to recap, if ever you're shooting in a swimming pool, I highly recommend that you get a bunch of assistance. It's going to greatly help with the workflow. Um, try to plan out your lighting in advance um, because things can get a little bit complicated. And there you go. Um, I think the results are definitely worth it. It gives a very unique feel to the images. It looks quite exciting. So um, I'm going to be in Paris uh, meeting up with Erwin to finalize a bunch of things from the tour. Uh, and I will be giving a workshop in Rennes and Amsterdam as well as a speech in the salon in Paris to help finance my uh, trip this time around. So thank you again. If you guys want to say hi, just send me a message and um, there we go, so like, comment, subscribe, and new video next week. Hope to see you there. Yeah.